Well, hello everyone. Welcome to another episode in our Tour of Japan series. Today we are in Miyagi Prefecture in the Tohoku region. Um, probably besides Hokkaido, uh, Miyagi is our first uh, prefecture with a really major town in Sendai. Uh, Aomori is a little bit of a, of a medium-sized city, I would say, uh, but Sendai is a, is a proper metropolitan area in terms of Japan. Uh, so we'll see if we get any locations there. Uh, if not, uh, hopefully we'll find some good signs no matter where we are. But yeah. Yeah, so same as always, four minute rounds. We can move. And this is probably not Sendai. Could be on the outskirts, but I don't know. So we head north. Um, I've been to Sendai. That's kind of why I mentioned it. Very nice city. Spent a, a day and a half uh, just doing some sightseeing and and whatnot. Some shopping uh, as I was touring the Tohoku region. Lots of construction. Actually, this might be tsunami damage. Which might mean we're close to the coast somewhere. Um, it doesn't look like... I, I maybe don't want to go this way because we're going to just run into more of, of that. Um, yeah, um, Miyagi Prefecture was one of the prefectures hit pretty hard by the 2011 tsunami. Uh, so a lot of the uh, the small fishing villages and livelihoods of many a person were completely wiped out. And the area, you know, nine years or so on is still not really recovered from it, uh, you know, at all. A uh, few stores and whatnot have started to, to appear, but the residents don't really move back because there's no jobs, uh, there's no fishing as much. So that can be a bit tricky, but lots of rivers. It's a very interesting location. I feel like there's a major road somewhere we should get to, but this is definitely not it. Uh, I want to go like down into there, but it doesn't seem to want me. Uh, Rias Arc Museum of Art. Interesting. Here we go. This is kind of the road I wanted to be on. There we go, and a good sign. Okay, um, Ofu Nato Ishi Ishinomaki. Ishinomaki is there. We're on the. F this is the 45. We found the 45. Okay. Yeah, we are very close to the coast. Ofu no. Probably closer than that. Minami Sanriku. None of these are station names, unfortunately. Riku Zen Tanaka. Oh, that might have been. Riku something. Riku Zen. We head south, we get into. Ah, I bet this is a river we've been jumping around. There's a manga museum. We are right on the coast. Nuclear power plant that wasn't damaged, thankfully. Rikuen. Hanaka. Taka. 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 Oh, Japanese names. Um. Well, I don't really know where. Only got about 20 seconds left. We spend most of our time navigating here. I don't even know what road this is. If we go north on this road, it winds over to a river where everything is just wiped out. If we go north. We were way over there. Oh, there's Ofunato. Wow, that's really misleading. 
Yeah, we were right in that bay. It did make sense. So that sign was greatly misleading. <laughs> um, it was to the south, but not... I thought we were closer to that than this one. That's when we, the problem when we don't have distance. Well, we got our bad round out of the way, at least. Round number one. And you got to see a little bit of that uh, tsunami damage, unfortunately, uh, in that city. All those blank cement pads. This is probably the, the major highway. Um, I keep jumping beside between sides of it too. Um, the E forty five, E forty five or E four is what we're on. Uriseki. No idea, that's not enough to help us out. Can you go away please? Thank you. Uh, okay, I need some signs. We need some city directions. And distances this time would be helpful. Oh, Yamagata... Did we just hit? Are we like in Yamagata Prefecture now? Let me jump off of it. We're, we've been heading west. That would make sense. And it's mountainous. I don't really see a lot of coastline. Something 15. Ah, Yamagata Zao. Yamagata Expressway, which makes sense. There's Furuseki. Furuseki, sorry. Furuseki parking area. It's three kilometers to our west. Okay, where's the bridge? We had quite a few bridges, didn't we? Um, the main roads like this in Japan are toll roads quite expensive to travel on um, but depending on where you want to go it can still be faster and cheaper than the train uh, the train doesn't go everywhere unfortunately as much as I wish <laughs> it would get one kilometer we go across we get closer to it okay that Yamagata sign was really a big help um I still don't notice any significant bridges over a river. Maybe it is, and we just can't really see down very well. Okay, there's the turnoff. So how do we, we... How many turns did we do? Turn to the... Right? Go further back here. Turn to the right. Should be a turn to go back the other way. Yep. And the sign for the thing, and then a bridge. Yep. Right. Back. Oh! Pretty close. Didn't have a whole lot to go off of. We, we found this, and we were trying to judge distance. That's about the best we could do. Um, but yeah, that Yamagata sign really helpful. Uh, let us know we were really close to the prefecture border, and we could find that rest area to help us out. But even though, I have to say this, even though the toll road is pretty expensive, and it isn't even as fast as an American interstate highway, um, the speed limit's lower, 
Um, the service areas are amazing. They're like legit stores, clean bathrooms, like good rest stops and, and whatnot. So you will not be disappointed when uh, you visit. She's like, what are you doing? Weird car. All these people. Ooh, we start there. Okay. Well, at least we know we can't have gone the wrong direction. There's only one direction to go. Uh. Oh, I was about to say, is there a road out of here? There is. Not that way, though. <laughs> Lots of dead ends in this one, Renox. Thank you. Appreciate it. It's a kind of suburb. Apartment complex. You can work a way out of it. He die. He send something. Is it Sen, right? He send. Oh, he send Numa. Right? He send. He send Numa City. Yes. Do we know what area of the city we're in? Okay, it's just a community center. Oh, here we go. Um, <laughs> I don't know what that kanji is, but something she ku. There's ku in this. Is that a river? Japanese cities can be pretty spread out, so it still doesn't give us a whole lot of help. Hmm. I think we're, we're like above the main city, so we shouldn't have... information we've got I just don't know if it's worth actually looking for Miyagi Ken we already know that we already know we're in Miyagi but if we didn't we can see that on the sign so yeah, these small signs are a great source of information if you can read a little bit of kanji, familiar yourself, familiarize yourself with some uh, prefecture names and whatnot. Yeah, we, we have to be like in, in town. Twenty-six. Twenty-six. There's twenty-six. Where on the twenty-six are we? There's a seven eleven. Seven eleven unfortunately does not put their branch name on the building. Like Family Mart. <laughs> Do I Family Mart so nice? Um, four seconds left. Okay, we're here. I don't know, somewhere back in there. Oh, we went the other direction. We didn't see that 7-Eleven. We saw a different 7-Eleven. There's another one right there. Pretty close, though. 870 meters. We actually should have paid more attention to the way we travel because we would have known we would have should have gone south. And yeah, that little district sign we saw did not give us anything. That was a river, though. It was orientated a little bit, like, clock counterclockwise. But yeah, 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 not bad. That was a we, we know, did a pretty decent job with that. In a city for once. Ooh. 
very close to Sakura season, it appears. A little bit early or late, but given the the nature of the uh, the trees, maybe it is early. It's a little bit colder than it should be for Sakura. This is not a toll road, so we're on a national road. What did that sign say? Gap. Can't believe I went back for that. You know better than that, Satoma. What are you doing? Oops, and then I went right past the sign we do need to stop at. 398. 398. 399. Probably has no relationship to 398. Out of the prefecture now. 398. 398, there we go. Oh, we're somewhere around here, maybe. We're in the mountains, though. We're not in a town. Which makes me feel like we're out here. Something May City. Ah, Tome City. Okay, we're in your Tome City. We're actually... Japan can be deceptively rural sometimes. 398, there we go. Tome City, Tanaka-cho. Tanaka-cho. Okay, so this is where that restaurant is. We must be out here somewhere then. We're heading west, which makes sense. We're heading into town. Sure enough. Tanaka... Nakada Hasama Mitakido. Where did my marker go? Misaki. Nakada. I didn't see a tunnel. We head west and we find a tunnel, we know where we are. Oh. Expressway is two kilometers. So that's that. Yeah, we're definitely family mart. There's no way we saw a family mart. We know we have learned though already in our few prefectures we've done so far in this series that you cannot trust the store on <laughs> the the map because they do change i did get screwed up once when the convenience store brand changed and uh confused me okay there's the interchange so we did not see a tunnel we did travel quite a ways though We did pass it eventually. Oh, not quite far back enough. We were right. Oh, we really should have gone the other direction. That would have told us exactly where that tunnel was. We would have known we were really close to it. But still pretty decent. 4795. Yeah. Oh, another rural location. Maybe I can drop some uh, Miyagi facts. Uh, Miyagi is pretty famous for some beef, especially, uh, uh, beef tongue is a local specialty. I don't feel like this is the way we should be going. It's a very old sign and there's nothing for a long way. Uh, yeah, besides that, what about... Oh, uh, Sendai's uh, 
Tanabata is pretty famous. Um, Tanabata is the star festival in July um, to celebrate two constellations coming together. Uh, and, you know, classic stories of long lost lovers and blah blah blah. Um, but it's a day that most Japanese do some wishing uh, for some good things to happen in the future. Uh, they tie their wishes onto bamboo trees. Yeah, this is the direction we needed to go. Uh, 108, and we are 17 kilometers from Ishinomaki, which is in the, s the north. Ishinomaki. Nope, in the middle. 108. We are actually in Waka Wakuya, which is right here. We must have started... We've been traveling... East. Traveling east, what? Oh, we must be down here somewhere. There's the train line we cross, yes. This might be it, because there's a big turn, flat turn, and a big field of nothing. <laughs> so that might be it. And there's a road right there, so we are... That might be it. A big turn. Yeah. And at the end of this turn, there should maybe be a road up. Yep. It could be down here too, but let, let's. That must be the river. Ah, that's the river. Okay, so turn. S curve. Some weird stuff. Yep, yeah, this is exactly where we are. Okay, okay, okay. So we are on that flat. The problem is that road doesn't really go to the flat, it goes. goes unless they consider something else that has to be it that road just doesn't seem to be properly placed it seems to be more like right here but um yeah i'm pretty confident in this oh there's a house okay ah that's why he gives it to us he gives us the house okay to help us uh use that as a reference point we can get our first 5k of the match. There we go. 14 meters away. Not bad. Thank you, Radox, for putting us right in front of that house. A little bit further north. We didn't count for the fact that the bike shed might not be actually there, but not bad. Um, oh, and that was it. That was fast. I was could have sworn we still had another round to go. 19, 620. We're still way underperforming the average. Uh, but given the fact that uh, we are playing with four minutes and a lot of the games I see are people who have played uh, like hours to get their scores. Um, I definitely think we're doing pretty good. Other than that one location, we really were off. We had two up here near... Uh, Ensen Numa near Tomei as well and then one way down we have kind of a very cluster of locations and then one over here by Yamagata on the expressway that's very easy to distinguish those toll roads from everything else they are always lined with guards they'll have lots of signs and uh, uh, parking areas mapped out on them uh, compared to the national roads even, which can just be kilometers of nothing. Uh, so, and there's usually, there are usually always four lanes, I believe, which some of the national roads can only be two at times uh, total. So that's a pretty big uh, hint at that. But unfortunately, no locations in Sendai uh, to show off this this big city. We were kind of scattered around uh, north of it for the most part. Um, 
I did believe we did see it a bit. Did it pop up? Where, where are they? They are in the north. Are they further north than I think they are? There are some islands in... I didn't get to talk about it. In uh, Sendai that are... Not in Sendai, in Miyagi Prefecture. Uh, it's They're called Matsushima, but I don't see... These aren't Matsushima. I should have looked up exactly where they were. I thought they would be the main islands, but they're not. My bad. Uh, anyways, Matsushima is known as one of the classic three scenic spots in Japan. Um, this comes from a book by a poet, what was it, uh, 16 something, 1640, 1650. Um, and he named three scenic spots in Japan that were the you know best of, of anything. I should have really looked at where they are. Now, are they further out to sea? No, they have to be visible from the land. I could have sworn they were right here. Maybe it is, and I just don't... I'm not realizing it. Um... There's so many islands, though, it's always difficult. Which island are you talking about again? Um... Could even be in this cluster somewhere. Yeah, so uh, Miyagi has one of the, the three most famous scenic locations in all of Japan, so definitely worth the visit. I would definitely recommend Sendai. Great place, really good food, uh, nice place to visit, especially in summer. If you can catch the Tanabata Festival, it is a great place to see all those uh, wishes on the bamboo everywhere. In front of all the stores, all the little shops have them. Uh, it really adds a, a really interesting uh, feel to the whole place, so... Anyway, uh, yeah, next time we will be in Yamagata, which we are almost in today, given our border location. I uh, will see you all then. Take care.